Today I'm going to show you how to get a virtual visa card. So there will be two methods we are going to use. So let's jump into the first one. Go to Google Play and search for Eversend. Eversend. Then this is the app here. Install it and open it first thing you have to do is to create an account so i already made an account so i'm not going to go through that process again it is very simple to make an account here so i will log in now and here you will see my this is my ugx wallet and here it's some transactions then if i scroll to the right we have my usd wallet some transactions too so to, to get an, a card here you will use your usd wallet so you can deposit money in your local currency there are many other wallets that you can use whether you are you want to use euro Kenyan change nigerian naira whichever you want and then you have to convert that money to usd by just going to exchange and then enter the amount you want to exchange to USD here and then click continue. Once the money is on your USD wallet, now you can go to cards down here. When, when you reach on cards, you, for you, you will not be having any card at first. So there's a plus icon up here in the top right. So you click on that. Then choose the scheme. Currently there is Visa. Uh, sometimes there's also mastercard but i'm only seeing visa right now so click on that and then you can choose any color you want for your card okay and then click on continue now you have to find your card the minimum balance that should be on a card is one dollar so if i put one here you see that the amount entered plus uh plus fees exceeds the required amount that is because i have only 1.31 dollars and to create a card i need to spend one dollar on creating the card and i also need one dollar as the minimum card balance so should be having at least two dollars on that account to create this everson card so i'll show you the card i already created here i've been using it for some transactions online if i click on transactions you can see the transactions i've made using this card it works just fine <clears throat> as if you were using your bank card uh, and this is also a business card it acts as a business card it is a prepaid card so it cannot be used on services that do not allow prepaid cards so you can view a billing address from here and also you can view okay you can freeze the card or you can even delete it so that is one method another method is to use and another app called cheaper cash so once again come to your google play and search for cheaper cash then i already have it installed but i don't want to update it right now so what i will do i will open it from my app drawer it also follows the same process you have to create an account then once you have your account you deposit money in your local currency but the good thing about this you don't need to first convert your money to usd before you can have a card it is simple but the card costs two dollars okay 2.5 dollars to create an a card uh, to create a card and also 2.5 dollars of monthly card maintenance so this is a bit more expensive i don't know why they decided to increase their fees but yeah it works just fine so on the bottom here you can see this card in the bottom right so click on that and then you if you don't have any card here you will see claim your card so that will take off 8000 Ugandan shillings from your account which is equivalent to around 2.5 usd so once you have your card you can click on this show details button to view your card details and once you do that you'll be able to see your card number card balance and also your billing address that you can use to process transactions on your card 
on the side here you can see these are cards that I previously created and then deleted just because I had used them and I no longer wanted to use them anymore so you can even delete a card and get a new one very easily that's it about this video if you found it helpful leave a like and if you're new to my channel do that thing that youtubers say at the end of the video bye